so welcome back to my channel guys i do feel like um i am in a bad shape not as a good shape as i wished but um here we are i do look a little pale and hard to catch my breath but um welcome back to my channel guys i do feel like i owe you guys this video it's been quite a while have not recorded or filmed for you guys same thing um but here we are. Um, what has happened to us? Well, let me start by saying I did get surgery. That's why I look this pale, guys. I look like no makeup, no lashes. Nothing's popping today. Um, if I do take breaks, guys, it's because I still have to be catching my breath. It's still hard for me. Um, I did get my gallbladder removed. Just because I've been struggling with this problem for over, ever since I had my son. So, I mean, I feel like it's been forever. I feel like this needed to be done. Um, I had a four days in the hospital with pain. I know they did give me morphine and meds and all that for the pain, but I was still in pain for four days. Uh, my surgery was until the fifth day and it, it got done uh, my gallbladder is now out of my body and causing me no pain whatsoever i do feel good i'm not gonna lie um just because i feel like i don't this pain that i get is just because it's out already and uh, you know i just got surgery but it will get better i do have now five days that i've been home which was like forever um I miss my son so much. Being in there was like, you know, it's true what they say. Being in the hospital or in jail or um, is where you see your true people. Where you see, you know, people who truly care about you. And I did see this this time that I got it because I hardly get sick into getting in the hospital. And this time that I was in there, I've seen a whole lot. Um good thing that i already got my surgery that's why i look this pale and this funky but um i'm feeling better i'm like eating liquids because apparently after surgery and getting your gallbladder removed all you can eat is liquids and uh, solid foods um you cannot eat like uh bread like all that type of stuff you have to eat solid food for two weeks which i am already tired as hell of eating solid foods let me tell you um, my body's already used to eating soups, um, yogurt, jellos, um, all that kind of stuff. That, that's the only thing I can eat. But I'm going to introduce my body today with um, veggies to see how my stomach reacts because I'm tired of solid foods and I feel like I'm feeling much better to start trying food. Um, they did tell me for two weeks I had to have only solid foods but after two weeks I can eat whatever I want but in small quantity of food so it's only been five days and I'm gonna start with veggies today see how that kicks in um, I am kind of tired of being home now but the doctor said I couldn't walk much now until my body already adjusts to getting air or being able to breathe better because once they take your gallbladder out you have problems breathing for a little bit i think it's a week or a week and a half not too sure um other than that guys that's where i've been in pain for months and it was a pain that let me tell you i would start feeling under my ribs like okay i'm gonna get it and once i would um get it i'll start so, like sweating like the pain was so bad where now i was supposed i was throwing up i mean i told my husband a lot of times i wish i could be going to labor than taking this pain because it really hurts but i'm happy i'm out of it and glad i don't have to deal with it anymore but um yeah guys that's where this is where i've been i was in the hospital for four days no probably like five or six days but now I'm happy that I've been home. Um, family has been coming over and visiting, you know. I think everybody who messaged me 
on Instagram. Message me in my ins is this a Snapchat? Snapchat. Um gave me good prayers and always asking for me. I do appreciate that guys. Um but that's why I haven't been filming. I do look a little crappy as I just said, but what the heck. I owed you guys this video since a lot of you guys have been asking me and messaging me on my Instagram. Um I feel much better, so that I do um gotta say i do gotta appreciate for my mother because she's been helping me through all this like literally all this um while i was in the hospital she was babysitting my son which was horror for me because i had missed him so much just wanted to be home um, right after i got out of surgery she was still helping me to the point she's cooking for me um She's taking care of my son. She washes my clothes. She folds my clothes, puts it away. Things like that are the things that really matter. Um, not really material stuff. To me, what matters is who's there for me. And um, I think everybody who's been asking about me, you know, messaging me and being constant. Because I feel that's what matters. Um, I'm that type of person, I guess. But, um, yeah, here we are and I'm feeling much better. I feel like... This was a long journey for me to get surgery. I feel like they took forever to take it out. Surgery wasn't so scary because once they prepare you and um, the last thing that I remember was looking up and I seen all the lights of the surgery room. After that, I don't remember a thing till I was in recovery. But they, the good thing that they only made four little cuts and... Um, Hopefully by time they'll shrink. I will put, um, I won't show you guys the cuts, but I will put videos in the end of this, this one. Um, so you guys can see what I would eat and what I was doing in the hospital, which wasn't much. Just laying there, walking around the hallway. But, um, yeah, in the end of this video, guys, if you watch it to the end, you guys will see um, little clips of the hospital while I was in there. I do thank my husband also, guys, because he he was there till I got admitted, till I got out. He did not leave my sight not once. And that's the little things that I see, guys, that um, you get to see who's there and who's not. Because most of the people are more worried about what you think, what you know. And I feel like I don't got that time right now. I don't got the time of... Um, I'm going to sit here and use my phone and search everybody's life. You get what I'm saying? It's not It's not like that. I feel like I haven't touched my phone in forever. Um, while I was in the hospital, I would grab, like, hardly grab it. Unless they were messaging me for Snapchat, Instagram. Other than that, I wouldn't use my phone until now. I haven't literally grabbed my phone to literally search up anything. I've just been on my own business. I've just been trying to recover fast so I can get to my regular life and get to eat whatever I didn't eat back in all these months because I would hold back to eat so much things like I don't remember when was the last time I ate a hamburger since I had my son I don't remember when was the last time I literally went to go out to a restaurant and enjoyed food because it wasn't like that. All I would eat was veggies, boiled chicken, or, yeah, basically that's pretty much it. Because I always had to be checking the sodium on my food for over, I had them in April 30th. Since August, I found out that I had um, gallstones. So since August, I've been on a diet. And I've lost weight. If you guys can see my re other videos, I was weighing 168. And now I'm weighing 140. Um, I've lost so much weight, guys. Um, I feel like I'm not going to let myself go no more because I've lost the weight and it took forever to go down. But it wasn't the way I wanted to lose it. But I lost it. And I feel like I'm going to put myself in the gym and start, you know, having myself limit my foods as well. Since I'm already used to eating low amounts. Um... 
I'm trying to think because I don't want to forget anything. I, this video was suggested for you guys because you guys have been asking what's been going on with me. What's going on with Orozco's family. And um, here we are, guys. We're, we're still together because a lot of people are thinking me and my husband have broke up. No, we're still together. Um, he's been with me through thick and thin and I appreciate that from him. Um, I just feel like... It's been forever being on here and filming for you guys, but I know I owed you guys this much and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and now there's going to be videos more frequently because I'm going to be filming with my mother as well. She's going to have her own um, her own material things that I'm going to be filming here in my channel. Um, it will be around this coming week where she's going to be filming with me so you guys will get to meet her. Mm. Other than that, guys, I'm thinking what else so I won't forget. Um, now that I'm feeling better, guys, I am going to try and um, do my makeup this coming week because I still feel kind of weak from surgery. Um, my foods are not that good, let me tell you, even though hubby packed it all up with the uh, progresso soups i could only eat the soup not the entirely thing jellos uh yogurts all that kind of stuff that we get to eat um other than that i think this is it guys i think this is what had happened and took forever to happen because i waited for this so long like literally you guys have no idea but it's done, and I'm glad it's over with. I feel much better. No pain. Now I'm going to be able to eat and enjoy everything I want. And um, I do have a follow-up with my surgeon this coming week to see. He's going to check my surgery to see how it's healing. But other than that, I've checked on it, and everything's been going well. They're healing pretty much fine. But yeah, guys, the pain... Back then it was probably like a hundred, now it's like a two, three. But it's just because I just got surgery. Other than that, I feel great. Um, a little pale and funky looking, but nothing that makeup won't cover. Other than that, guys, I appreciate all of you guys for messaging me on my Instagram and checking up on me or asking about my son. My son's doing great. Um, he was a little fussy and mad once I got home. He would push me away and didn't like me. For three days, but um, he's fine now. He's already, he struggled to sleep with us too for three days. He wanted to go sleep with my mom. Even though the day that I got home from the hospital, my mom did grab him and take him to sleep with her because she felt like I needed to rest. Um, but I, I'm, I'm happy I'm home. I'm happy I'm back to him. And enjoying his, his little big self now, guys, because he's already going to be seven months. Um, he's already eating food. I will be doing an update about him on my second video coming up because a lot of you guys have been asking for him and um, I would do, will be doing an update about my son in this week actually because next week I got to film with my mom and then this week I will be filming with my sister and her girlfriend. So we got a busy week guys. I'm feeling much better and I feel like I I owe you guys this much, so videos will be coming up soon, guys. Uh, just be patient and hang in with me because you guys know I did get surgery and um, got to recover first. But um, I will be doing a video also about what I have been eating and my progress about my food that I am going to be touching because I know a lot of you guys um, out there are going to go through surgery as well, a costume removal or going to. Um, before my surgery, guys, I forgot to let you guys know, I did take a lot of home remedies. I don't remember how many I took, but none of them worked. So for a lot of people that they do really work out there, God bless you guys, because I swear it did not work on me. I tried so many things, and none of it worked. But I am glad this little monster is out, and I'm feeling much better, and I'm going to be able to enjoy my food, my micheladas, and about to fuck it up with the food, guys. So thank you guys for watching and taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um, keep messaging me guys on Instagram. Letting me know what kind of videos you guys want. I will be filming for you guys. 
I feel like you guys deserve that. Um, you guys deserve an explanation of where have we been. And um, we're back at it again, guys. I do have a lot of, a couple films, film guys that um, we filmed, little clips that we filmed uh, before I got surgery that I did not, um, how do you say it? Mm, I didn't have the time to edit, but I will be editing them today of the pranks that we've been doing at home, a lot of little clips. I'm going to add them all together in a video so you guys can enjoy them too. I will be doing that tonight. But other than that, much love to all of you guys and people out there worrying about what I'm thinking or what I'm searching or what I'm... Do you mind you? Because honestly, I feel like I'm just recovering. I don't got time for the phone. I don't got time for nobody's life. I don't got time to be worrying about anybody else. Just as much as nobody worried about me. Just wanted to make it clear. So thank you guys for watching again, and don't forget to give me much love. Um, and stay tuned to all the new videos. Look at my neck as So I've been here for five days already. Yeah, five days now. Since Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. And after four days, finally on the fifth day, I got surgery. I mean, I still have pain, I feel. I guess it. Tu deja allí, Julio. I'm assuming that I'm glad I did.